like smooth. This is like straight up like a way better version of a Guinness. Cause I love Guinness. I love Guinness, Guinness too. all day. This wins. This wins every single time for me. All right. Hi everyone, this is your host David Hoffman with my boy Steve from Clutch Burgers. Today we're so pumped because we're trying, what is this? This is Left Hand Brewing's Milk Stout Nitro. Okay. It's absolutely delicious. You just gotta make sure you drink it right. And uh, the more the merrier, they say. And you gotta know how to pour it. So that, that's the thing is that this one you pour it a little differently. You don't have to turn it like this, you just dump it, right? Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okay, <laughs> that's it. It's like science. Wow. Look at that. Nothing that's amazing. Came. Usually, you, you pour any other type of beer, and it's going to be all half on the table, right? Exactly. Yeah. So it's not it's not overflowing. The foam isn't coming out. It actually looks from this angle like the colors of a Guinness. Can you see? Stout. Can you see the the cascading going down right now? Exactly. That's what that? I'm saying. That, that's the Guinness yeah, side yeah, that, that I that, see. So so when we pour this, we tell people when we scare people when we pour it like that because they they're expecting it to just whoop, you know. So when we do that, it's almost like a, you know, it's entertaining, people like it. But you gotta wait about two, three minutes, okay. let it settle, let it breathe. It's like the perfect it's pour, a, It's right? a good time to take a nice little, little, little smell of it. Oh, oh I love it, I love it. That's coffee, smell yeah. coffee. It's got a little mocha, I'll little say mocha. a little mocha to it. Oh. So I was reading about it, so it has that, the mocha coffee mm -hmm. smell, aroma, taste. So it's a milk stout nitro. It's sweet milk stout that is brewed by Left Hand Brewing Company out of Longmont, Col uh, Colorado. Colorado. Yeah, twenty-six year old brewery. So yeah, they've been around for a minute. They've been around for a minute. Six percent. So not super high, but still really good. Full body. I mean, especially for this weather outside. It's perfect. It's cool. Now that now that's a little bit cooler, if that's what you want to say. I'm from Chicago, so this is still extremely hot uh, <laughs> for November. Yeah, but for us, we're getting sweaters. The re. <laughs> Everyone's in their UGG boots. Don't be that. Don't be. Don't do that. Um, but this specific stout is one of my favorites because I love Guinness. I'm a, I'm, if you like Guinness, you're gonna like this. This is different. It's, in my book, it's a little bit more smooth. You're gonna get that like creamy aftertaste to it. Oh, bro, I'm excited. You wanna you wanna pour, do yourself yeah, yeah, pour yourself? It. So I just yeah, you were almost a little too scared there. I was a little, just, just, I was a little just, scared. Just, yeah, just flop that bad boy in there. Wow, look at this. Yeah. So even on the bottle it says pour hard, admire, and then enjoy. So we poured this into a frozen pint glass. You technically don't need to do that, okay? Because um, you're supposed to drink this between 50, right around 50 degrees temperature. So what we'll do is we'll let it sit for a little bit, uh, just because you're not supposed to drink it when it's super cold. Okay. You want to let everything kind of the, the aromas and everything kind of release a little bit. Now that it's finished the whole cascading process. Uh, so yours is probably done. Mine still has a little bit. Yeah, mine's probably time. ready to go, but uh, I'll I'll wait for you, man, because it's. Um, I like it though. It went from like brown to like almost pitch yeah, black. Yeah, I can't even right? see through it. It's almost opaque. Wow. Yeah, I can't even see. Boom. Left hand is it's employee owned and operated, so I kind of like a lot of these bigger uh, breweries. Uh, if you have a solid brewery and you know you might be of competition, some of these big dogs are gonna come in and just wipe you out. Yeah, so people say this feels like a pillow head, right? Soft. Creamy textures, it's mm. thick. Uh, the aromas are obviously roasted coffee, vanilla cream, then brown sugar as well, okay. Mm. Flavor-wise, it has been compared to a blend of roasted mocha and milk chocolate, like you said. All right, okay, so okay. mocha, mocha, all right. See, I was on point there. So we're gonna do a prost? Yeah, salute. Let's do it, salute. Man, this is amazing. See my beer mustache I had going on? Yeah, there? yeah. You yeah. have to. You yeah. have to. So good. Mm. See what I'm talking about? Hey, I guess that's the pillowy thing they're talking about. The pillowy about. thing, yeah. It's just it's just it's a creamy, it's like silky. It's like smooth. This just, is like straight up like a way better version of a Guinness. Cause I love Guinness. I love Guinness. Guinness too. all day. This wins this wins every single time for me. Mm. St. Patrick's Incredible. Day. Incredible. Milk stout nitro. Wow. Left hand brewing I've even, out of Colorado. I've even some say it's blasphemy, but I even dropped a, a shot of uh, Jameson in this and slammed him as an Irish car bomb. <laughs> so if you want to get a little bit more bougie instead of just doing Guinness, milk stout. Clutch, never basic. Never basic. Never basic. <laughs> and the rule is you got to drink it with your left hand. 
His left hand oh, brewery. Is it, is it? I just made that oh, up. God. But I like, <laughs> I like it. What did I do wrong here? I just, I just made that <laughs> up, but I like it. I like it. No, it's great. Maybe though. they'll adapt that. I mean, this is a, it's a nice beer, man. That's what I'm talking about? This is really, like, because when you said Guinness, you know, obviously stouts or Guinness is like the first stout, right? The yeah. first uh, commercialized stout. Right. And it's funny because they started off like small, mm -hmm. super small. Now they're like mad giants. But that was my intro to beer. That's why when people say like, what, what's your favorite? I'm like, I like darks. Do you remember your first Guinness? Oh, I don't remember my first Guinness. Neither do I. <laughs> I don't think anybody does. <laughs> I do remember my last. It was on St. Patrick's Day. Dude, I, yeah. I, I worked with Guinness uh, three years ago. I went to Ireland. They gave me a car and they were like, drink Guinness every day. I'm like, how do I do that? Can I, I are you trip. hiring? Are they still hiring? No, no. no. I'll, I'll jump out of clutch right now. Let's go. America's Stout. All right. It's amazing stout. Rocky Mountain Water, malted barley, lactose, flaked oats, hops, and yeast. You're, I'm asking the questions here. <laughs> I'm halfway through the beer. I'm not allowed to answer questions. Because I'll start making stuff up. It's, it's an organism. It's, it's alive. The, it's the one that eats. It's the, alive. It, it basically makes the alcohol, right? Mm -hmm. Then malt is basically barley. Fact. And then water. And Water's then always good. And, and keeping it simple. Keeping it simple. That's how you make beer. I love beer. <laughs> I love having you go on the channel, dude. You're like you're the best. That's what we do, man. That's what that's what we do. We come in clutch. We we dance around answers. If we don't know them. We make it sound good. It's good. It's good. So let me ask you. Ah, yeah. It's all about confidence, baby, in life. What are you ranking this up? I'm ranking it high, bro. Uh, for, I'm not. A, I'm not the biggest stout. I'm not. Oh, like okay. I like stouts, but for me. It's almost, uh, it's like a, for me, I guess because I'm Irish, if you couldn't tell, um, that I only drink it around St. Patrick's Day. That's just, that's really the only time of the year that I, I, I put it. a few back. Okay. Uh, probably the entire month of March to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, because that's what I do. And it's not just one day, it's a month. Um, but this is my favorite stout that I've had out there. And um, you can get it anywhere. You can get it year, year long. So that's another reason why I'm going to give this a high ranking. I'm going to give it an 8.5. Okay. Uh, because you can get it all year all year long. You can get it anywhere in the United States. It's it's distributed everywhere, I believe. I know I drink a lot of it in Boston, San Diego, Seattle, Chicago, and Miami. So all, it's all it's time. a well known. Yeah, beer, yeah, oh yeah, right? yeah, very well known. Um, most people that haven't tried it prefer it over Guinness at my specific restaurant. Um, but I got a strong 8.5, which I'm gonna actually round that up to a niner. You know. I'm gonna go up to a niner on that because of how sexy this beer is and how you pour it. You know, it all, it all kind of comes together. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna hit it with a nine. Yes. I love stouts. Guinness is like my top beer just because it was like the intro to my for beer in my world. Um, I'm a big stout guy. The weather right now is perfect. Cold weather is when you drink this. Um, just feels good. It's an easy beer. I can easily throw three of these back. Easily. Yeah. And it's, and it's not too high in alcohol, so you're not gonna get like that huge rush of you know, that buzz. It, it kind of makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. It, it does. But, it does. But not too lightheaded, where you're like, you know what I mean? You know, unless you're <laughs> dropping shots inside. <laughs> you can do that, Just right? Give it a shot. Give it I, I know they do that. I know they throw stuff in the Guinness sometimes, like Jameson. Like you oh, said. yo, yo, left hand, left hand. Oh, left hand, left hand. Wrong beer. hand, wrong hand, wrong hand. All right, perfect. perfect. So definitely a niner and a nine. Niner and a nine. That's sure. our highest beer so far. I mean, this is an amazing beer. Again, left hand brewing, awesome. Left hand. Milk, stout, nitro. And the nitro, I forgot exactly how that works, but they put it through a nitro uh, filter, right? Something, something it's got, it goes through something with nitro. It's gotta be, it's gotta be to get that, that to cascade get that, yeah. of all that, that nice head. amazingness, beautiful head. I love it, and it's creamy. Oh, the head's so good. Mm. Amazing beer. Well guys, oh. I hope you love this video. If you did give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below if you ever tried this beer. If you like stouts, this is like, if you like Guinness, you'll love this beer. Super high up there on the list in terms of stouts. Not crazy in alcohol, still really good, really filling, perfect, like cold, like winter weather. And yeah guys, if you love this channel, <laughs> you're killing me, I can't. So if you love the channel, subscribe for more beer content, dude. Cha-ching. Cheers, Gross. brother. Gross. Oh, yeah.
Don't throw it back yet. Don't throw it back yet. Oh my god, that is delicious. I can get another one. 